read together and um, have a spiritual conversation for maybe an hour or so every morning. And um, so I wasn't surprised one morning this week when I walked into the living room and he was hunched over his book. What surprised me was his words. When he greeted me, he looked up and he said, geez, I didn't know I had so many things wrong with me. <laughs> now, I'm a very wise woman. I did not touch that man. <laughs> As it turned out, he was doing an exercise from Sandy's class. In where you list all the things you'd like changed in your life, and then you go to the book and you find the affirmation that fits that change. He told me the problem was that if he even did one tiny little affirmation for each of these things on his list, he'd be there till mid-afternoon. <laughs> he was still laughing. But it's not always a laughing matter, is it? We've all had that situation where it seems like the world is tumbling in on us and everything is going wrong all at the same time because of the law of attraction. And we just don't know how to handle it. The answer is, we don't handle it. That's God's job. Our job is to get in alignment with who we truly are, which is one with God. But that's easier said than done, because that feeling of oneness is not automatic. If it was, <clears throat> none of us would ever have anything to want. There are two reasons. You know, we, don't, we don't heal anything. And there are two reasons for that. Number one, we are not creators. God is the creator. God created everything we could ever possibly think or need. And in his infinite perfection, he created everything infinitely perfect. What he gave us in our creation is the freedom to choose. So when something doesn't work for us, we have the infinite ability to choose again. The second reason we don't heal anything is that there's nothing to heal. It doesn't feel right all the time because sometimes our bodies ache and our checkbook is low and but the truth is God created everything perfect. So you take that first aspect that every ingredient we ever need has already been created and it's perfect and then you combine it with the freedom to choose which of these ingredients we want in our lives. The two together give us the solution for handling any problem. Still doesn't sound too easy, does it? So we add in the fact that we were created as extensions of God. We have all the attributes of God at whatever level we allow ourselves to realize it. If God is pure love, so are we at some point of our awareness. If God is infinite abundance, so are we to the extent that we understand it. If God is perfect health, so are we when we accept it. So it all boils down to what we allow ourselves to accept. 
Now, I don't do affirmations very well because when I'm working at those words that bring me to that perfect state of consciousness, I always have that lingering little thing in the back of my mind of, of, of what I'm trying to fix. And so they kind of cancel each other, other out. But what I have found over the years is that I can affirm joy. When I affirm and truly believe that spirit is working in me as me every single day to bring me unlimited joy, then things continue to get better. And better in every way, because the reason joy works is that we really can't be joyous if our bills are greater than our income. And we really can't feel joy when our body aches. And you aren't joyous if you're lonely. So affirming joy is a simple way to fix anything that's out of alignment in your life. <clears throat> when you wake up in the morning, go immediately to the thought that God, as your center, is pulsing joy through every cell in your body vibrating joy through everything you say and do all day long, and then remind yourself occasionally during the day of that very thing. <clears throat> Believe me, life will get better, and still better. It has to, because God always listens, and God always says yes. So then, if you want to go to some individual desire like uh, dancing till dawn in a vibrant body and then driving home in your new Porsche, go for it. Because God hears those thoughts too. God hears all of our thoughts. So choose the good ones.